What do turtles usually do? They crawl slowly, nibble the grass, and in case of danger, hide their head in a reliable shell. Or they live in water, swim quickly, and hunt all kinds of small animals, like small fish or insect larvae. Few can assume that real monsters are found against turtles, which are similar in size and lifestyle to crocodiles than to the small and cautious turtles familiar to all. In this video, we will meet one of the largest, most aggressive and dangerous turtles in the world, the Snapping Turtle. And before starting, I ask you to subscribe to my channel. I promise a lot of interesting things ahead. Are you ready? We begin! Snapping Turtle Large and very strong animal Some specimens of the snapping turtle can have shell that are more than 50 cm long and their weight can exceed 35 kg. One of the characteristic features to the snapping turtle is a very long and thick tail, which is more than half the length of the turtle's body, and has two rows of large scales, which makes it look like a crocodile's tail. Also, the snapping turtle has a greatly reduced in size the lower part of the shell, which has a second name – plastron. The snapping turtle is less protected due to the reduced plastron size, but in return she has received very much more freedom of movement for her huge paws and head. The head of a snapping turtle is on a very long and mobile neck and is disproportionately large, which prevents the turtle from completely hiding its head under the shell. But the turtle has very large and extremely powerful jaws thanks to such a huge head, which allows her to hunt and defend itself much more effectively from predators. The snapping turtle lives in the eastern and central regions of the United States, as well as in southeast Canada. The snapping turtle prefers to live in bodies of stagnant water and a large layer of silt at the bottom, into which the turtle burrowed to survive the winter. But these turtles are among the most cold-resistant reptiles. They can remain active even when the water temperature is only 4 degrees. Quite often snapping turtles swim under the ice or walk on it. But if the turtle burrows under the silt at the bottom of the reservoir and hibernates, then her energy requirement decreases so much that she is able to live for several months in an almost complete absence of oxygen, receiving all the necessary energy anaerobically just like many unicellular mushrooms and bacteria. In the spring, the turtle wakes up from winter sleep, restores its previous metabolism and begins its main and most favorite occupation – the endless search and absorption of food. Snapping turtles are omnivores. They can eat almost everything that even remotely looks like an edible object, including carrion and aquatic plants. But snapping turtles love to hunt fresh leaf prey very much. Unlike many other species of predatory turtles, snapping turtles don't wait in ambush for their prey. They are very actively looking for it and then attack without delay. The list of victims of the snapping turtle includes a huge number of different organisms. 
in addition to countless different invertebrates, including crayfish, snapping turtles, sea fish, frogs, snakes, and even other turtles. And this can not only be turtles of other species, since snapping turtles are cannibals and happily eat their own young. Moreover, even young Mississippi alligators often become victims of snapping turtles. Also, snapping turtles regularly eat a wide variety of birds and mammals, and they, without much hesitation, attack even prey that is several times larger than them. Large snapping turtles may well attack humans. Turtles can't kill a person, but they are quite capable of biting off a piece of skin or several fingers from him. The 50 kg snapping turtle has a bite force of 650 newtons, which roughly matches the bite force of a Canadian lynx of the same weight. But keep in mind that individual snapping turtles can weigh more than 35 kilograms. And their bite force is expected to be higher than that of small wolves and leopards. Snapping turtles can't kill humans, but they are extremely aggressive. And according to some sources, they are the most traumatic reptiles in the United States, ahead of even Mississippi alligators in this indicator. Few predators pose a real threat to the large snapping turtles. This includes others, bears and large alligators, as well as vulture turtles, which are close relatives of the snapping turtle, but they are much larger and an incredibly powerful bite that can crush the shell of a fairly large snapping turtle without any problems. Also, the meat of snapping turtles is appreciated by many people. But such predation has little effect on the number of the snapping turtle and she still remains a very widespread and numerous species. And it's all for today! If you liked this video, please support it with like and subscribe to the channel. This motivating us to create a new interesting videos. Thank you for your attention and see you soon!